Hi guys, so today I'm going to be testing another fake tan. I'm going to be testing the Rimmel London Sun Shimmer Self Tan Mousse. And I've got the dark matte shade. And I've already done it, as you can probably tell. Um, in the video, I kind of show you how I shave exfoliate and how I fake tan. So it's not a very long video, but it, I thought it was still fun to do. And I find fake tan reviews so useful. So yeah, if you want to see how I fake tan and my kind of routine, then keep watching. So excuse my dreadful appearance. I've just come back from the gym. I have no eyelashes on and no makeup on. So I look dreadful, I can't lie. But um, what I'm going to be doing is shaving. So I'm going to be using the exact same products that I got for the last video when I fake tanned. So the same ravers ravers the same razors and shaving foam as last time and everything so i guess we'll see if that contributed to a bad fake tan because if this one turns out bad it could potentially be that i don't know but that's the first thing i'm going to do and then after i'm going to go in the shower and exfoliate and then i'll moisturize and then i'll apply the tan on later on so that's what i'm going to do and i'll see you in a bit Once again, I'm not wearing any makeup, so I'm sorry about that because my skin is not great at the moment. Um, but I've already exfoliated, uh, shaved, and moisturized everything. So now I'm actually gonna put on the tan. So the tan that I am testing out this time, which you would have seen before anyways, I'm gonna show you again, is the Rimmel London Sun Shimmer Self Tan Mousse. It's that one just there. I'm going to be using obviously a mitt to apply it and I'll be showing you guys whilst I apply. So there's no instruction on how to actually use it. So it tells you how to apply it, but it doesn't recommend a certain amount of time you should leave it on for. So that'll be interesting. I'm just gonna get on with it and we'll see how it will look like once I've applied it. So I finished fake tanning a few minutes ago and it's already changing to a dark kind of colour, which is good. Hopefully it won't be too dark, as in, you know, when it looks too fake to be a fake tan, even though it is a fake tan. If that makes any sense at all, I don't know. It does already look quite dark. Look, compare that to that. Hopefully it won't be too bad. So I'll be back tomorrow with an update to show you how it actually looks. Fingers crossed it's not that orange because I don't want that. And I have to actually go out tomorrow, so yeah. But yeah, I'll be back with an update tomorrow to show you what the town looks like. Hopefully it'll be all right. If not, then I'm gonna be sad. But yeah, see you tomorrow. So I hope you all found the little montage of me fake tanning and shaving entertaining i don't know why but i found the like montage of me shaving really satisfying because of like the shaving cream being like taken off but yeah so so the actual reviewing of the tan i actually really like this fake tan i think that for a budget it's a really good fake tan to use as you can see as well i'm not really dark like with the Primark one that I did when I reviewed that, I ended up being extremely orange. Like, maybe it wasn't as visible on camera, but in person, everybody was kind of pointing it out. So it wasn't like a nice little tan. I don't know if you can see my hands. I didn't give a quick show earlier on, but that is the kind of color it is now. Like, it's very nice. It's like sun kiss, literally what it says. Okay, sorry, not it doesn't say. It says sun shimmer, not sun kissed, but... I feel like I'm looking a bit sun kissed, that's all I'm gonna say. But it was really nice because even like I went to work today and I was getting compliments on my fake tan. So I was like, oh, okay, this must be a lot better compared to the other one. And maybe they just thought, I don't know, she's actually not orange today or something, I don't know. Yeah, this fake tan is very easy to use. So, so this one is a mousse, which is exactly what the other fake tan that I tested out was from Primark. Um, the actual bit to squeeze out is so much easier, honestly. It's just a little pump like that, so I don't have to worry about anything flying away. 
this oh my god i can't remember how much it was um i'll put it in the thing how much it was but the cheapest place to go is wilco's i'm pretty sure for this you can buy it in boots and super drug but wilco's sell it a lot cheaper for some reason because i wanted to fake tan my hands as well i don't like using a mitt i use actual brush like a makeup brush to fake tan my hands so what i did with this one actually was i got a little like pot and i put the fake tan and i put a few drops of water and that actually made my hands go so even like i don't know if you can see but normally i'd have lines or like gaps of like paleness like that's exactly what i had um in the previous fake tanning review that i did so when i did this it's actually made it look a lot more natural and i don't have any weird gaps where like which is random white patches so if you do get this tan, I do recommend, if you want to put some on your hands, using a makeup brush and adding a bit of warm water and just kind of mixing it around because it makes it so much easier to apply. You do have to avoid water though with this fake tan. I won't lie to you. Like, I basically fake tan my face as well. But when I was drinking water, I had a few droplets go and I didn't really realise. And then there were like little dots of where like the water had been. So I wiped it off in the end. But if you are using this fake tan, do avoid water until maybe a few hours after you've put it on. So I'm probably gonna rate it like, I'm gonna say like a nine out of 10 because the only thing that was annoying was the fact that when I drank water, I had like little droplets that kind of took out my fake tan on my face, but yeah. So that is my review for this fake tan. I'll show you it once again. I definitely recommend it. It's very easy to apply it. The mousse makes it so easy to kind of squeeze out. You don't have to worry about residue or anything flying over like I had to worry about with the um, Primark one. And um, yeah, it's just very easy to apply. It's a very nice natural fake tan, even though it says dark as well. Like it's not overpowering, like it's quite a nice dark fake tan. Um, but yeah, I really do recommend this. If you have a chance, try it out and let me know what you think about it because I really like this fake tan. And I'll link down my other um, fake tan review because that one was very different to this review. But yeah, I hope you do enjoy the video and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more reviews coming your way. I had an idea of doing a weekly vlog where I kind of film my uni life, like studying, food that I eat, um, just my kind of routine and that kind of thing. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. Let me know if you would be just because I don't want to, you know, spend all my time seeing a video like that and nobody will like it or watch it. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking of possibly doing. Also, there's a chance I might not upload this coming week just because I've got a few deadlines and I'd rather just have the time off to kind of concentrate on getting those done. But that's not set in stone. But yeah, hopefully I will be posting. I'll just... I'll see. So if, you, if you're wondering why there's no video, that'll be why. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.